I guess you could call me a work entrepreneur, a job trip, a job entrepreneur. Is that right? Does that work? Buenos dias and happy Tuesday, y'all. All right, guys. Um, leaving a training that I led, which was very successful if I do say so myself. I headed home, I was really, you know, I'm, I'm on this, you know, running thing, I, I need to keep it going, I got a half marathon coming up in a week and a half, week and a half or so, 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 so. Yeah, I don't know, I just, I feel like I'm gonna go home and I wasn't gonna run today. And <laughs> I saw this lady from afar, like here she was coming towards me I'm like she's running she's running and she looks like she's having fun running and there she and, and then I felt I should probably go run my internal feeling indicator was over here on empty for going home to a run but now it's like three quarters full like she energized me just wa seeing that person running and saying if she can do it I can do it I'm into it I'm going running I'm gonna put the sneaks on, throw the shorts on, t-shirt, go. Just go run, yeah. Just, you gotta run sometimes. Sometimes you gotta exercise. You know, I try to, I talk about trying to get over the hump and making sure like, to meet your goals, get over the hump to meet your goals. And it seem, and it just seems like I always sabotage myself. Not today, not on my watch. I'm gonna go do it, I'm gonna go run. All right guys. I am exactly two and a half in on this run. Uh, took off at a nice easy pace. I'm trying to stay at that pace so I can not have as many stops as I've had in the past. So uh, we'll keep it going and we'll see what happens. And, oh man, just talking to you guys, I'm picking it up. I'm slow it down. Slow it down, that's my problem. Uh oh, crossing an intersection. No vlogging, running, and crossing through intersections. All right, I made it. All right, see you back at home. Thanks for joining me. All right, it's done. It is done. Four, uh, four point, four and some change, 4.2, I think, in the books, like a 10.03 pace. Not my fastest, but you know what? That's probably the furthest I've gone lately without having to do a few seconds of walking. This time was straight on. I only stopped at stoplights good stuff i'm always battling like i said earlier i'm always battling i'm always sabotaging myself where i just i get to a certain weight and then i stop exercising because i feel like i've i because i think i've arrived and i haven't you got to keep this up for life people for life i know if i can do it you can do it get out there run jog walk hop do whatever you need to do. Just get out there and try to get your 10,000 steps as a goal every day and do it any way you want, any way you want. You choose, you decide. All right guys, shower time. Oh, and by the way, I just, I use the roller. I think this thing is, is helping out. I wasn't as sore today, so after a couple days of using this, I think it's working. These guys are by no means sponsoring me, but uh, I like it. This is an Idsen brand, but you can use any. Descriptions down below if you're interested. Yeah, that was good. Shower time. Hey guys, so I'm freshly showered. Nothing like a good shower after a nice hot sweaty run. I'm gonna take the vlog into a little bit different place here and I'm gonna do this periodically and that's give updates from the perspective of a YouTube creator who doesn't have a lot of traction. That'd be me. It's a good spot, it's a good spot for me. I guess you could call me a work entrepreneur a job trip a job entrepreneur is that right does that work <laughs> i am having my cake and i'm eating it too what i mean by that is i have a day job that i thoroughly enjoy but this vlogging thing this video editing thing this creation thing has enticed me and i just want to kind of document not just the straight vlog I guess I want to document some of the things that I think can help or as a noob for the most part I mean I've been doing this a year now I have over 460 videos 
but they haven't gained a lot of traction and I can take that. I can take that. It's not easy. Not everybody gets hundreds of thousands, if not thousands of subscribers right away. You can cast a shadow of doubt on yourself or you can continue to try to get better. And that's what I'm gonna to continue to do. I enjoy, I just enjoy the process. So if I enjoy the process, that's all that matters. And I do, and I, I want a shout out to those of you that have recently joined the Buenos Dias blog, the BDV family, thank you. Thank you to you from right here. But yeah, I just, I just wanna to continue to show the climb, because I will get there eventually. There's no, there's not a shadow of a doubt that I will get there. I know that I'm gonna put in a lot of hard work. This is, this is good stuff. I'm enjoying it. The vlog is going to end up doing whatever it's gonna become. It might just be called the Buenos Dias show someday, but, or maybe we just keep it the Buenos Dias vlog. I kind of like the name and I get what vlogging is. Vlogging is either a diary or it's a kind of how-to. Either you're showing people how to do something or you're just documenting parts of your life. Fair? I'm sure there's many other definitions of vlogs and that's okay. Here's my tip, my how-to, my maybe how to improve your YouTube life, so to speak. There's hundreds if not thousands of videos on these types of things. First of all, how to gain more subscribers or how to get traction on your website. You need to collab with other YouTubers. You need to post more often or frequently. You need to post at a certain time of the day. You need to have attractive thumbnails and on and on and on. And you can see these videos all over the internet. And a lot of them are actually, actually pretty good. And then there's videos that contradict all those things that say none of that works. It's just ma it just matters what you put on this camera. And I agree to a certain extent that that's, that's the deal. That's the deal. That's the main thing is content is king. And I do agree with that. You gotta play the game and it's a game and you gotta kind of game the game. And that's part of it. So today I'm just gonna talk just a short, short period of time about thumbnails. If your game is like mine, which is not strong in the thumbnail area, I've just decided to try to step it up a little bit. I've known about this site for a while. I used, I've used it in my workspace meaning in my day job, I didn't think about utilizing it for thumbnails. And that's canva.com. Canva.com is a free site with a lot of in-website purchases. So for example, there's a lot of content on there that you can purchase like backgrounds and images and um, illustrations and animations and things of that nature. You can do all that, but you can go, you can just get a nice clean thumbnail with all the free stuff in Canva. But once you get onto canva.com, it has a nice layout. It, ha it gives you the ability to actually look at specific sizes for different social media platforms. It has YouTube channel art and it has a template for YouTube thumbnail, which is the one we're gonna use right now. Let's say you're a dentist office and you start making YouTube videos on how to combat gingivitis, right? And you do this whole video on how the best ways, top five, top 10 ways that you combat gingivitis. Well, you go ahead and click that thumbnail and then you can start looking for backgrounds. So once you find a background that you like, again, the background could just be a solid color. That's all there is to it. And then what you might wanna do, or the background could be something that has some type of pattern on it. Once you find that background, you can actually change the color of the background and you can insert some type of illustration or photo. In this case, we just chose one of the free images there, which is a tooth. Fortunately, it's a black tooth. You can bring anything in from outside the Canva canvas. For the sake of the video, let's just use the black tooth there. Um, hey, gingivitis, right? You're struggling. And so then you can change the color of the background now to make it pop a little bit. And so maybe you have some type of content or color combination for your YouTube channel. Maybe you utilize that or maybe you just use something that pops for you. You can choose from blues and greens and reds. I'm going to end up choosing pink in this case. And then I'm going to write a little blurb off to the side. So you can use their text headings, subheadings, or their text templates right in Canva, select something, and then just type whatever you would like. In this case, so I'm gonna just 
type out how to eliminate gingivitis. Hopefully I spelled gingivitis right. But you'll get the idea. And then you can resize it and again, it's all formatted for your thumbnail. So make it pop, make those, fill out the space. Now you don't have to type anything. Of course you see lots of thumbnails that don't have any text in it at all. That's fine. That's just my style and I'm just, I'm, I'm testing things. We have a nice layout here and it's really gonna pop. So here I'm looking around for some extra imagery or uh, I'm looking for some extra images I might put in, but I think I'm just gonna leave it uh, basically with the black tooth and the white tooth. This is just an example how to make a nice clean YouTube thumbnail. Then you can simply just download it and you've got it right onto your computer. You can open it just to see what it's gonna look like. It will fit nicely right within your YouTube thumbnail art and it'll fill out that space perfectly because it's templated for that. Let's take a look at some of their custom layouts. Um, again, you gotta kind of browse through them. Some of the free ones are weaved in between the paid for. So we're gonna select this one here. I'm really actually just going to change the image. So I'm gonna select, I'm gonna eliminate the image that's there and I'm gonna put my mug. So I'm gonna put my mug right in there and then I'm just gonna change the font. You see a lot of shots when I leave the office. So tips for vlogging and driving. And so that could be my thumbnail someday. And I think it would be pretty good. It's, I think it would be a pretty good one. It's nice and clean and you get, you get what's happening there. You get, you can see that I'm in a car. At least you can make it out. At least my mug's nice and big there. And there you have it. You can download it just like the other one and you are good to go. All right, hope you enjoyed that small little tutorial on Canva and how to, you can make much better, much better thumbnails. You just need to focus on them. I'm doing the same, but also just test them. If you're a YouTuber that doesn't have a lot of resources, then these are some of the things that you need to utilize. Again, you can use, you know, Photoshop and do all these things, but this has nice templates. It's already nice and structured for you. So you can just kind of push in images and push in text where you want and many other things. And most of it's all free. I, can, I guess the main thing is it leaves it nice and clean. And that's what you want. There, tip number one from a YouTuber who is up and coming up and coming people all right i hope you enjoyed this video remember to sprinkle a little bit of fun in your life and always when you're having that fun remember to keep it fun enough we're gonna do this again tomorrow